Welcome. Today we are going to be taking a look at a mod called Plus Ultra Stagnatibus. So the load of this mod is that the Franco-Spanish alliance defeats the British-Prussian alliance in the Seven Years' War or the Eight Years' War in this timeline. This leads to a situation where the Spanish colonial empire still exists and France is still a monarchy because there is no Napoleon. The mod starts in 1912. The United States is a very unstable republic and it is known as Colombia. So this is it, the Holy Republic of Colombia, the Captaincy General of Louisiana, Viceroyalty of New France because France took over most of Canada from the British. So Canada will look like Quebec in this timeline. And then the Russians have Alaska because there was no manifest destiny. Meanwhile, in the east, we got the Qing Empire, which still exists. And the current emperor is called as the Tong Emperor. In Japan, there was still the Meiji Revolution, but there was a socialist problem in the north in Hokkaido, led by Ikki Kita. And Russia and the Russian Far Eastern Viceroyalty is led by Yevgeny Ivanovich Alexeyev. And now let's take a look at some of the parts for France. So, France is led by King Philippe VIII, and then guillotine time. So, Louis André, a man of reason and logic who seeks to destroy religion and superstition in France. Interesting. So, France can become the brotherhood of France. And then we can have the Sorelian Revolution. Hey, is this a Kaiserreich reference? <laughs> Probably not. Joking. So George Sorel, the king is enemy of the worker, but unlike his colleagues, he understands that in fact nationalism, religion and myth are elements of the proletariat. France will embark on a crusade to free the workers of Europe from oppression. So this is some kind of national syndicalism. France National Workers Republic. But then there can be one more path, a path more radical than the others. The workers have been oppressed for long enough. No politician will save them. As they say it in France, the revolution will continue until the last king has been hanged with the entrails of the last priest. Neither Dieu nor Maitre de. And it is led by Emile Poquet, who is a radical Jap uh, Jacobin libertarianist. And then Germany is led by Kaiser Wilhelm II. Well, not Germany, because in this timeline, the Germans never really united. Prussia is weak since the Eight Years' War. So Brandenburg is... Le yes, even Prussia didn't really unite. So it is just Brandenburg. The, the Teutonic Order's provinces never really went to Prussia in this timeline. It is ruled by Kaiser Wilhelm II, but they used to rule more from Magdeburg to Konigsberg, humiliated by the Austrians and their degenerate allies, the Bourbons. Their rule has been reduced over the years to its current state. Wilhelm II is a peculiar, heavy-handed monarch, but sometimes he likes to flirt with parliamentarism. That's interesting. He has one goal, to bring glory to his kingdom again, and to exterminate the enemies of the German race. Okay, I can't say this on YouTube, but you can read it quite clearly. Now, years of anti-Semitic policies have led to the formation of partisan organizations fighting Wilhelm's madness. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't watch his back, then they will seize power. So you can literally form a kind of Israeli Germany in Germany. That's interesting. It is under Kurt Eisner of the United Partisan Organization. So this is Hitler's worst nightmare in this timeline. To think that only the Jews oppose Wilhelm II is stupidity. On all fronts, there is resistance. First is the Lutheran Church under Theophil Wurm. So they can form the Lutheran Theocracy of Brandenburg. Or sometimes you can get cooed by one of your own ministers who will form the Margaravate of Brandenburg. And then we have the Holy Republic of Colombia, which is under Woodrow Wilson. No, sorry, uh, it can 
The Holy Republic of Colombia can fall apart into warlord states if its instability reaches a peak. So the first is the Theodore Roosevelt clique, the second is the Woodrow Wilson conservative clique in the interior, and the third is the Lovecraftian state of New England. And then this is a teaser for British East Africa. It can become a dominion or a federation or it can become an imperial British East African company. And Britain itself is led by <clears throat> the a republic. So Britain is the republic in this timeline because without Napoleon, the republican thought, the republican ideology presumably became more famous in Britain. But despite that, Britain continues to have a sort of empire. And the British Raj is very small in this timeline. Most of India is not really colonized by the British. And don't look at this teaser. This is clearly not official. And there is, of course, always going to be a Dixie Republic in every single mod where America falls apart. And this mod doesn't disappoint. The Dixie Republic is led by Theodoro G. Bilbo. And then this is a focus tree for Murray, President Murray, and this is a teaser for the Habsburg monarchy of Austria-Hungary. It is not really Austria-Hungary in this timeline, it is just the Habsburg monarchy. A pure monarchy, a pure ancien regime, which doesn't really pertain to any sort of nationalism. No, this is purely rule of the dynasty. And you can see Mr. Horthy in the list of generals. But there is still the Hungarian question and the German dream, a unification of Germany under the Austrian crown. And the Austrian Empire in 1812 is ruled by Francis III. And this is a future, uh, this is a, a, a teaser for Romania, and this is a teaser for Spain. So Spain remains a powerful empire in this timeline. It is ruled by King Jaime I, and there is something called the Terror Blanco, a campaign to persecute and punish followers of subversive ideologies like the Jacobins, the Freemasons, Republicans, and Anarchists. And then this is a super of great war. So when the Great War breaks out, then all hell breaks loose. The final showdown between the ancient regimes and the dreams of republic and Jacobinism or anarchism, everything comes to one clashing end. And that is what you will play in Plus Ultra Stagnatus. But before I go, let me show you Italy. Italy in 1912 is divided up between various different factions. So the Kingdom of Sicily is ruled by King Alfonso I. Then Venice is independent under Luigi Luzzati. Some parts of Italy are under Austrian domination. In, in Italy, the Austrian emperor is known as Francisco Jose. And then the uh, the Duchy of Savoy. So there was no resurgor, there was no unification of Italy. Sorry, I forgot what's the word called. So yes, so in this timeline, basically the world is one large playground. The world is much more conservative than in our timeline because there was no French Revolution and the ideals of liberty did not come with a bang. Instead, they slowly began to seep through society. And that is the world of Plus Ultra.
The mod is upcoming and I've left a link to the Discord so you can join it. Have fun and please subscribe to Literally Nothing Here.